original uh, part to ZigBee message was developed for service, it, it should be easy and simple to do this. And uh, many toolkits today don't, don't do this easy or transparent. Uh, another thing that uh, there are many toolkits uh, that, that create its own tools. For example, QG has its own Q, uh, Q stream. Uh, MFC has its own strings. Every single toolkit around tries to reinvent its own string, tries to reinvent its own chapter because they think it's better, it's the best. <coughs> However, this is not, uh, it becomes uh, hard for us as programmers to, do, uh, to develop because finally it just has its own string, its own chapters, its own login object. So the, the primary goal was to use the standard library, the standard things that exist in the language, and not to try to reinvent them. This yes. string is not Unicode aware. It's not it's very uh, Okay, what, what does it mean Unicode aware? You want to. Uh, does, for example, uh, Java string is Unicode aware? Uh, if, if you disregard the UTF 16 aggregates, then yes. No, but you can just. Of course okay, you can. Okay. But it's, the, the situation is better. Okay, even if it is now. In Hebrew, for example, you take great uh, uh, word shalom with vowels. How many chapters are there? How many chapters? That's a very advanced question. No. All I want to do is random access into the stream. The stream gives you random access. JavaStream doesn't give you a random access. You can't. Uh, and no, there is no stream that gives you random access. More than that, as uh, as some number who works with Unicode, you don't want to access. Code points. You, you need to, to work with high level abstractions. For example, uh, wait a second, uh, Boost Loki provides uh, <coughs> uh, analysis for characters. It allows you to iterate over characters over any text range. And this is, and this is a better approach, a correct approach than trying to access uh, some kind of character that, that may be even a part of some uh, multiple segments. You don't work with single code, code you work with characters. And string is, perfect, uh, string is perfectly fine for this. This is a very important point because finally you need uh, to work with uh, text and not uh, and the strings what, container. What, what you're saying is that you're using a string as a database container. Yes, exactly. That's fine, but that's not, not what the, uh, the slide is. They, no, it, it is. Because finally they do all of the same. Because finally they don't provide you too much added value if you see, uh, look a little bit uh, deeper. Okay, uh, let's, let's take a look on, uh, uh, there are many other features, as I told you before, there are many features. I am not going to talk about them in this lecture because it's uh, too much and there we don't, I don't have enough time. There are good tutorials on the network that you can find and read uh, with many examples, with many, uh, uh, many uh, tutorials and uh, references, so you can use it, download it, it will be uh, very soon a part of boost so uh, you will get it with, uh, with, with the release of the boost and you all have it on your, uh, on your next uh, version of your distribution. So I'm not going to talk about, uh, uh, on, on features explicitly but I'll uh, show several things that I think that would be interesting to see how uh, this library solves the problem. <coughs> uh, and for first, first of all, uh, this library standardizes local, local, local names. What is local name? Uh, we, when we talk about local, it's uh, it's an object to represent some kind of some kind of culture. It really usually depends on the uh, country, the language, and some encoding, and uh, it depends how we use numbers, how we use uh, what language we speak, and many many important things that define our uh, our culture. So, Boost Local standardizes these, these names. It uses four standard names uh, and uh, uh, and. And it uh, uses ETF, ETF, ETF encoding, and uh, it doesn't uh, allow things like uh, these that are, for example, used in uh, Visual, uh, Visual C++ compiler, but there is few standard names. And this is, uh, allows us to easily to develop a cross-platform application easily because uh, the names are in fact. Uh, for message formatting, it uses uh, get text catalogs. So if you develop today uh, most of uh, programmers that use localization are familiar with this uh, get text catalogs, but uh, this, this get text catalogs are a little bit improved. First of all, uh, Boost Local allows to use several uh, several languages in the same process. 
the GNUMPY test does tell of this. It, uh, it uh, provides a little bit more permissive license, so uh, you don't, uh, if you develop some application for companies that uh, don't uh, want to release an open source, uh, so you can, uh, it, it's, easy, it's easier to use uh, boost login, and it also provides support by charters that may be important for Windows developers. And finally, using the same catalogs uh, that we are all familiar with, that has many uh, good tools, it provides a little bit better support of uh, get text. Uh, calendars, date tags. This is probably one of the most interesting things. Anything you need, uh, as we talked before, uh, formatted dates may be complex thing. So sometimes you need a Hebrew calendar, sometimes you need uh, an international calendar with your own. Anything you, anything you need to do is just to, to change the local name. You provide such option for the locale name, and uh, your dates will be spread in the Hebrew calendar. Uh, and this is done very transparently with the uh, uh, ONS as an example that was shown, uh, shown before. We just print a time object that is uh, just a plain number to the stream and we format the date. Uh, and uh, um, we also, uh, it also provides the pressure to man manipulate our uh, over date and time objects. For example, you can uh, find what is the Sunday of this local week, where uh, the start of the week depends on actually the, uh, where you... Yes, uh, yes. As, it's uh, a word as, as tight, as tight. It's a uh, shortcut, it's something just simple as short, short. Uh, it's 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 manipulator. So it's, it's actually manipulator. It's extreme manipulator. So it's, as, 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 uh, for example, as you write hex, same so as, as time, and uh, it, it will interpret the time uh, number as data, not as a number. So, so you, you, have, you can get a creation of the date. So, for example, you, you can uh, change the, uh, the current uh, week date to Sunday, and it maybe uh, it, it would usually go backward in Israel, and for example, move forward in Russia, where the Sunday is the last day. We cannot default the date. He provides many operations in in correct way. For example, uh, case handling is something that can see, usually considered to be very simple. You can you take a letter, change it to uppercase. In fact, this is much more complex operation because some letters can be converted to double letter. Uh, some, sometimes uh, case handling is context dependent, where the letter at the end of the word it converts to different letter in, in the middle of the word, and. Uh, these operations, as you said, are not uh, supported good by the standard. As we, you probably use it uh, to chart or uh, to upper uh, function in your program some someday, and you know that they uh, uh, receive as a chart as a chart as a parameter, and return a chart. Uh, this is uh, broken behavior. This is incorrect. In you should work on the entire strings. And going back to the uh, thing you said that. Uh, I want to index the string. You don't want to use uh, chart. You want to use entire uh, string, entire chart text of uh, chart <coughs> of the text. And uh, uh, so it uh, provides uh, that things in consistent way. Uh, so, so uh, this is where some a few features that this library provides. So uh, finally, what is the idea is maybe uh, to improve the standard. Uh, the, as one of the uh, reviewers of the boost locate said, this is a very strategic library because it provides many things, uh, changes many things, and way uh, localization and handle the sequence class. So uh, we know that there, there are localization support, BOT localization support and sequence class. We uh, have locate object, we have messengers object, with up Technically allows to translate message. We can format times, dates. Uh, we have upper lower conversion functions, but uh, they almost each each one of them is actually broken. Uh, messages actually don't support plural forms. Uh, they don't provide context. Uh, date uh, supports only Gregorian dates. Uh, I've shown you why upper and lower handling is incorrect today. So. Uh, this, so the idea of this library is to provide better standards that allow to implement this feature correctly. And this is uh, one of the long-term goal, goals of this library. Uh, so, 
to improve the standards and finally uh, the boost is the best place to do this. Uh, so we, need, we want to start so that, uh, the, uh, ha the handling of loca loca localization across different uh, compilers, for example. For example, uh, uh, as I told you before, some compilers use uh, uh, diff different names for locates and boost locate practice from both uh, Make them correctly from the uh, linguistics point of view, where we don't work on characters, as characters are usually meaningless in text processing. And uh, uh, to work to promote new code uh, as developing uh, as <coughs> default encoding, as we know, and Windows uh, in Windows not such Unicode friendly uh, credit system for processing, especially for SD stream. So hopefully, uh, when, uh, when, boost, uh, when this paper, uh, this paper would be released with the boost and it will be used. Uh, the next stage would be to, to write a proposal for standard to improve the standards, and hopefully, we will in 10 years we'll find that this is a part of the of your next compilers. And then another 10 years until the compilers actually carry. <laughs> okay, that, but this is a different story. So, uh, questions? <laughs> yes. Who's using it? Uh, I. Uh, uh, there are RAP users. Uh, I know that, that several projects have already used a boost locate even before uh, it was released. Um, when it will, will be released with boost, it will, be, it will have much, uh, uh, much wider use. And of course, all CPP CMS users, that there are several companies, use it because it's, uh, it's, it was originally part of it. As a library, uh, GenText appears not only in C, but there are also bindings for the Ruby and the Python. And Sure, bro. Yeah. And uh, do you treat GetText as some sort of upstream so that libraries that bind directly against GetText get it or any other I do, bindings? I don't use I don't use uh, GetText runtime. I I re-implement it. I implemented the code that loads the dictionary. It uses the dictionary, loads into memory, and uses it. I don't use any of original uh, uh, code, and this is also a library restriction. Uh, <coughs> Less restriction <laughs> if I understand you correctly. Well, uh, that too, but also it means that uh, environments that are written in C and not in C plus plus won't really be able to use it. So I won't get a boost locale in Python. Uh, yeah, no, you won't because Python written in C and uh, the C plus plus has a very rich framework. On the other hand, Python has its own localization tools and all the localization frameworks. For example, uh, Python implementation of get text knows to work with uh, more than one language, uh, more than one language in the same process. Oh, yes. Uh, I saw you have a translate of uh, having sentences in one language to translate to another. Yes. I guess it comes from a database. Yes, it's, it's a GNU, GNU get text message tag, and the standard tag will use it almost anywhere. There is a database we, we can use? Or? How, it, how, it works? It? Yeah, how it works? You create us a program. You write your uh, your sentences in, inside the program. Then uh, it extracts it into the uh, special template file and the translation uh, writes and translates uh, this sentence sentence. It is something as uh, the, the, the standard project used almost everywhere for stuff. Yeah, but I, I don't want to create a new database for my program. I want to take some other database that already have. 80% of it and just add my 20%. Is there a big database that there, there, are, there, there, there are many uh, there, there are many tools processing uh, get text. This I, that, that's, that was one of the point using the standard tools because there anything you have for get text you have for this as well. For example, there are some uh, kinds of things like translation memory uh, that allows you to do it, that allows you to merge different between different catalogs and your own uh, own catalog. There are many tools for operating on, on GNU get text that allows and this is why I actually use this, in this for this project. It, it's actually, it, it has a problem of context of GetTest uh, solution. Yes, uh, 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 Boost Locate implements uh, uh, co support, supports context, and the latest version of GetTest provides option for supporting context, and it supports it, fully supports it. So you can write a provide context and use it, and this is. Let, let's be frank, the real problem with any localization library is that the programmers don't use it. Okay, uh, but <laughs> what can what can I say? No, 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 I'm, I'm just saying. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yes. Is the display is, is the, the problem the area you're trying to, to tackle uh, in 
choose the display or is it? No, it's only uh, it's only uh, only localization creates a string. So finally, you, you can call a message box uh, after you translate the string. So it's it's up to your tool your your tool to use it. Because for example, uh, for CPP CMS it was a web. So uh, if, uh, in C++ we have a very interesting feature that you can connect locating to the output stream. For example, when you write to std out, you can uh, can imbue a locate object to the string, and when you write a number to the string. Uh, it will be uh, displayed according to the lo lo to local speed stick to the stream. So there is very tight integration with uh, <coughs> the stream library of the C++. So basically, if you write, for example, text using standard library, you, you can uh, use this local together. And uh, you're, uh, you can, uh, for example, when you just, uh, translate a message, uh, like, uh, uh, like in this uh, example, you, uh, you actually for example, in this example, you, when you translate uh, the message, it uses this object locally and translate the hello world according to this, this object locally. So there is tight integration with these strings, but if you want to use some kind of uh, graph toolkits, you probably you'll need to uh, to to, to form this the string from this and to show it. This finally, uh, this is how it done in actually in all uh, in all kind of toolkits. And a different question. Uh, you say that the character is has no meaning, but if I need to have a, a manipulation of a partial word, such as to uh, try to guess what the user is trying to think. Uh, the booster thing provides character iterator, word iterator, uh, a word segmenter, uh, it provides a uh, line break, point uh, analysis, and sentence. So, uh, for example, you usually want to, you, you would want to use characters, uh, so you can read this, uh, the text into characters. And uh, it would capture, for example, uh, uh, a letter with all its words. So, uh, he read the uh, with a an A and uh, Yes, exactly. When do you think the most in C++ communities will universally agree that STD string equals ETF8? Uh, that's that's a, a good question, but uh, the problem is the question of politics. In Goose, there have been too many politics, and I, and I don't know if there will be any sometimes agreement that uh, uh, it will happen or not happen. Finally, if you, at your own project, if you, in your project, you assume that this string is UTF-8, you can use it. But this uh, but, uh, it's a question of what Goose decides to choose, and that's our question. Yes? Um, a related question. How extensible is the library? I mean, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's very modular. In fact, it uses uh, several different uh, backends. You can use uh, ICU libraries, backend, uh, Windows API, Unix API for this. It, it's, uh, it's very modular, and uh, it's unlike many of libraries. It has hidden implementation, so you can implement anything you need and add new features and as, and, and how you want. Okay, uh, any more questions because I'm running out of time? Yes. yes. By that, is by that included? In what? Bidirectional rendering of text. Uh, no, because uh, this is something that's generally uh, handled by most toolkits, like your web browser, like uh, graphic toolkit, so it's not, wasn't an uh, issue. Okay. Sure it is. Yes? Yes and no. No, no, no. Usually the display does by that the ordering, but you need to be by that aware. No, do lots of stuff. Yes, but uh, this is uh, this is program program. It's this is not can be magically solved by a library. Not magically, but just like you provided the APIs to convert to Opus to Opus things, you can uh, uh, provide APIs to do uh, to detect mirroring to, to ask questions. About. Yes, but this is this is most done already. But it's, this is something that can that can be solved. But currently, I it was not uh, a demand. It can be solved. Sure, uh, I still provide such things, so it can be easily added. But uh, the question of what is the benefit of it, or many things that can be added more. Okay, so thank you very much.